So, wir fangen aber jetzt an. Ich möchte die Anwesenden zuerst einmal ganz herzlich begrüßen, hierher nach Brüssel gekommen zu sein und an dieser Konferenz bezüglich des Schweinerhundemanagements in Rumänien teilzunehmen. Wir haben ja heute Gäste aus verschiedenen europäischen Ländern hier, die auch nachher bei der Demonstration vor dem Europäischen Parlament teilnehmen werden und ihre Meinung kundtun werden, wie wir mit diesem Problem umgehen. Auf meiner rechten Seite sitzt das Mitglied des Europäischen Parlaments, Professor Dr. Klaus Buchner. Er ist in der Grünen-Fraktion. Auf meiner linken Seite ist der Abgeordnete Remus Czana. Er ist Abgeordneter im Parlament von Rumänien. Da der Professor Buchner bald dann wegfliegen muss nach München, wollen wir ihm einfach mal die Möglichkeit geben, zuerst ein paar Worte zu sagen. Klaus, du hast Gut. das Wort. The way um, uh, you judge a community, a society, can be seen from the way they treat animals. That is a famous word, you know it probably. And here in our particular case, uh, you see the situation of the dogs in Romania. It is a problem which has to be solved in any case. Uh, the way how it was introduced, how it was considered as dangerous, the situation, that is, uh, I think, worth mentioning. Uh, some child uh, had a problem with a dog. It was bitten by a dog, but not by one of the dogs we are talking here, of the straining free uh, dogs, but by a watchdog. And that's, I think, an important point. You extract some danger from a situation which is completely different. But nevertheless, the situation has to be solved. And in, I think, all our opinion, the only human way to solve this situation is by castrating uh, the dogs. Uh, the present situation is terrible. I don't want to talk about it. Um, I don't know whether you want to uh, put this point up. But it has to be solved in a decent way. And castration is one of the ways, probably the best one. There is a good idea by uh, some um, uh, organization called Vier Pfoten. They want that some people pay regularly some small amount of money just for making sure that this is possible, that it can be done in a decent way. Uh, I should stress that the situation of the dogs in Romania is maybe at the moment the most, ur not the most urgent, but one very urgent problem in animal protection. But definitely there are many others. We need not to go to Romania. We can stay in Germany. Uh, just look how the uh, uh, animals are treated uh, before, sorry to say, before we eat them. Uh, this is um, an important point also in our party, because we do not separate so much uh, the protection of animals and the protection of human beings. It goes together. Uh, you cannot say um, you care about uh, human beings alone. Just uh, to, uh, take the climate problems, take the problems of nutrition of the people, mainly in Africa, South America. So all these questions are very much linked. And uh, therefore, it is a real moral question how we treat our animals, how we treat these problems. As I said, it's a big issue of my party. It's called UDP, Ökologisch Demokratische Partei. Uh, but not only, fortunately, not only of our party, there are uh, people of three different parties here, and I'm happy about it. And that is what we definitely must do in order to 
improve the situation of the animals, but not only of the animals, in the same way also of the people connected with them. Thank you very much. Thank you, Klaus. <laughs> So, ich äh, würde jetzt äh, sagen, dass vielleicht äh, zuerst wir anfangen mit... Er muss den Beamer noch anschließen. Ich kenne mich mit dieser Technik nicht aus. Äh, hier ist ein Kabel. Vielleicht können wir eins machen in der Zeit, in der sich der... Äh, Viktor Gepp hat darauf vorbereitet, seine PowerPoint-Version zu zeigen, würde ich einfach mal sagen, dass ich die Anwesenden hier kurz vorstellen. Äh, machen wir es einfach mal von <coughs> rechts nach links. Äh, introduce, please, yourself. No, my, my name is Delphine Bourgeois. I work for a long, long time in animal welfare protection field. I work for Eurogroup for animals during uh, 14 years in the past. And I'm um, also really active uh, in my district here in the commune of Ixel, and we are focused on animal welfare issues also. Mm -hmm. And we organize every year um, animals in town and uh, with a lot of companion animals and with the commission and we had the honor to have Mr. Eck um, uh, on the 4th of October. It was on the International Day uh, for Animals. And even I remember that when I worked in Eurogroup in the past, when, uh, uh, first of all, the, the companion animals is a, is a, a very important subject also, which has not really um, harmonized solution at the European uh, level. And uh, here, this, uh, I remember in the past, we had already uh, those topics which were raised mm. in, in Romania. And um, even I remember the, the European Union uh, reply uh, to some um, uh, request that uh, is something which is a national competence, so it's not belong to the European Union. And, uh, but nevertheless, this uh, situation is completely um, unacceptable uh, uh, today. And uh, a, a solution, maybe with the new government, has to be found. And uh, with uh, castration is one of the big solution which has to be um, found, found. And uh, well, I, I can see Mr. Wachowski. <laughs> who can speak for the future. But voila, for, it's, it's inacceptable, and I would like to, to tell you congratulations for your initiative today and for the demonstration, because it can uh, push and move uh, things and to have a solution in Romania. Thank you. Janusz is coming, and it is an honor. It is an honor of, uh, for me that the uh, president of the Intergroup for Animal Welfare and uh, Conservation attend to this conference. Janusz, you have the floor. Ah, <laughs> just arrived then. <laughs> okay. Okay, but first of all, I'd like to, 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 to listen to you and to, 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 to get more information about what is the present situation in, in, in Romania. I know the situation from my last visit. It was all, almost one year ago. And uh, I'd like to, to, to declare that, that uh, together with Stefan, with other colleagues, we are uh, ready for, for any action which, is, uh, which can be effective, successful, this, the, the, the problem is that Romanian authority all time uh, say that that uh, officially was not uh, agree with with uh, our our objections with with our observation 
they they uh, answer officially that we sent uh, a lot of letters in, in this case, and uh, of the the answer is officially it's not not very bad situation. Sometimes something happened, but 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 generally no. And th th this is the reason that uh, mm, the, the the pressure is not 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 effective at this time. We have to to seriously discuss how uh, what we can do more from the European Parliament position. Uh, what kind of pressure is is uh, necessary in this situation? Thank you for 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 your being here and and uh, for possibility to to discuss about it. First of all, I'd like to 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 listen your opinion, your observation in this case. Thank you. So thank you, thank you, Janusz. Uh, <coughs> and maybe uh, here the uh, member of the uh, Romanian. Parliament could give us some <coughs> information what he is think now after the election of Klaus Johannes. Maybe something has changed completely now and there is a small hope on the uh, yeah, there is now a small hope that with the new president of this country something can change. So you have the floor. Thank you very much. I'm honored to be here together with you. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, and let me um, address you like addressing to friends, because such kind of cause can unite a lot of people who maybe don't know each other, but because of this cause, they instantly become friends. Um, it's an issue regarding stray dogs but it's also an issue regarding the moral human values. And we are, when we are talking about stray dogs, we are talking about our moral values and how we manage um, this kind of um, issue, the presence of thousands of stray dogs on the streets in the Romanian cities or in other cities uh, in Europe maybe. I saw a lot of stray dogs, for instance, in Athens. And they are very healthy and very uh, gentle and very big. And um, I was amazed and happy to, to see them um, even near uh, Parthenon, near the Parthenon in, a in Athens. Speaking about what's happening in Romania, uh, you saw that uh, for many years uh, the stray dogs were killed. Uh, many, many thousands. There are some reports that indicate that uh, during 2001 and 2008, only in Bucharest, there were killed more than 144,000 stray dogs during about eight years, when the mayor was Mr. Tram Basescu, who, who is now president. He has only one um, uh, 10 days until he will be replaced officially by Mr. Johannes, uh, who was elected a few weeks ago. Um, but uh, let me tell you that in Romania, uh, the mass killing of stray dogs is very old. It started about 200 years ago. And uh, it's obvious that, that not killing them is the solution. Because in Romania, we killed a lot, a lot of stray dogs for 200 years without any good result in, in a sense that uh, the number of them uh, decreased. No, the number of them didn't decrease. And according to the specialists, uh, according to the experts, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the good solution, the main solution, the efficient solution is to neuter and return. Uh, of course, and also to start some uh, campaigns for adoption and so on. But uh, killing them is not a solution. It's just a waste of funds, a waste of resources. Uh, it's a um, deep, um, it's a deep hit against the moral human values. Um, you are familiar with that quote of 
Mr. Of, of, of Gandhi, who said, uh, um, uh, a nation is civilized. You can say about a nation uh, that is civilized uh, when you, yeah, uh, um, uh, keeping in mind uh, uh, how they treat uh, the um, the animals. Um, so my hope is that Romania will find a good way to manage this issue in a humane way according to some <coughs> moral values and according to the opinion of the experts who wrote a lot, a lot of reports about how we can solve this issue without the mass killing of stray dogs. And let me tell you that I proposed a draft law more than one year ago in September 2013 a draft law for managing, for solving this issue, uh, based on the principle of the, uh, neuter and return. Um, and also I wrote in, uh, in this draft law, uh, which was um, uh, written together with some experts from civil society. Mr. Claudio is here. He was one uh, of those who, contrib uh, who had a contribution to this um, uh, draft law. Uh, there is another idea which is, from my point of view, very important. Of course, this issue will be solved by local authorities because local authorities will have to manage this. But it's important to have a national authority to supervise, to help, and to monit um, monitorize how the things are going on. Because without this kind of uh, national authority, maybe some local authorities will not be able to solve this issue. Maybe w they will don't know how to do it. That's why I think that, of course, the main responsibilities have to be in the hands of local, of the local authorities, but in the same time, we need uh, national agency, a national authority, to supervise all of the things and to provide help and information and other things that are necessary to solve this issue. Uh, unfortunately, this draft law was rejected by the Senate. You know, in Romania, we have two chambers. Sen the Senate um, uh, already rejected this proposal. And this proposal is in debates at the deputies' chamber that will, which will decide. Um, in the same time, you heard about Yonut's law. Yonut's law, it's a law called after the name of a child who was killed by some dogs in uh, September 2013 in, uh, in Bucharest. Uh, it was a huge wave of hate and anger against stray dogs after that incident. Of course, we all deeply regret this tragedy. The life of that five years old child is, was precious, but uh, it was lost by, uh, uh, by some very bad circumstances. Uh, we found a few months later that those dogs that killed the child were not stray dogs. They had an, own, an owner. Uh, but um, because of what happened in, with Yonuts, uh, just a few weeks later, the parliament voted with more than 80% of votes, voted for a law that um, started this massacre that we experience now in, in Bucharest and in other cities. Uh, I tried to convince some of my colleagues to vote against such a bloody law. Uh, and some of them told me in private, yes, you're right, but we have to vote for this. It was an emotional vote. It was a vote um, um, based on that feeling that we have to uh, prove as politicians that we have solutions and we have, we can solve this problem 
fast and in an efficient way. Um, it was no reason, no um, expertise, uh, no real judgment um, for such a de decision. It was just a very, very bad emotionally and irrational decision of the parliament. Um, because of that, a lot of a lot of stray dogs were killed. Maybe a few thousands. But we don't have we don't have the uh, exactly number of them. But many thousands were killed just in Bucharest, and there were many conflicts between ordinary people and the authorities that wanted to take the dogs from streets and kill them. So, um, uh, because of this bloody law, let me call it like this, uh, not only the stray dogs were affected, but also a lot, a lot of people, thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions, because our moral values are based in, at least in, a, um, in a, some parts, on empathy. And we can imagine which is the trauma of the stray dogs that are captured, killed, sometimes tortured. And let me tell you that not always they, they are killed in a human way with an injection. No, some, uh, they are often brutalized uh, and there is a huge suffering. And we can imagine what, they f what the stray dogs feel. So this is empathy. We can, we can imagine that ourselves are like the stray dogs, tortured and killed just because they live. Uh, we, yeah. So uh, let me finish with uh, with a hope and with a message of hope. It was wonderful that a few weeks ago Romanians voted for a change. Let me confess you that almost nobody expected to to this result. Even a few days before, all of the polls indicated that the prime minister will win, Mr. Ponta who had all of the tools, all of the necessary tools in his hands. Fortunately, the people came, the presence of the people at vote was huge, more than any other elections. And uh, it was um, a, sign, a sign that the people want a change, want a different kind of politics. Um, and Mr. Johannes is, uh, he was a mayor of uh, uh, one of the biggest towns in Romania, Sibiu, Hermannstadt. Uh, and he made some statements against the mass killing of stray dogs. He said, it's, it's a barbaric way to solve this issue. Uh, and in Sibiu, he didn't kill the stray dogs. He managed this issue in a humane way. So he will become a president. On December 21st, he will say the oath. Um, in Romania, the president is not so powerful. The most powerful is the prime minister. But he can speak. And, he, and there is, let, believe me, there is a wave of change. There is a wind of change in Romania because of uh, these elections. And even the party of the prime minister, the Social Democrats, became more open after they were defeated, became more open uh, and they are open to listen and even to vote for some reforms because all of the reforms were stopped in the last two or three years when uh, after the Social Democrats took the power. Uh, so my hope is that we will put the proper pressure in a good way, debates, letters, meetings, 
uh, with even meetings, and I, I hope that you will meet uh, in January, as I understood. Uh, if, if, if you will meet Mr. Johannes, it will be a very good step forward. Uh, my, my, um, my belief is that his, uh, the, the doors is open. You, can, you do not have to explain him, because he already understands. But uh, it's important to show him that there is a huge international and national support for a change. And maybe this draft law that I proposed, maybe he will agree to accept to replace mm -hmm. th th this draft law that I proposed to replace the law, th the Yonus law. This is my hope, <laughs> and I wish you good luck. I hope also that I will meet Mr. Johannes. I asked him for a meeting. I'm not sure. Maybe he will agree to, to meet me. And I have a list of issues. Of course, this one is one of them. Thank you very much. So before we see a PowerPoint uh, presentation from the organizer of this uh, demonstration, uh, today, I'd like to give the word to um, Claudio Dimitriou. He is from a Romanian NGO, and maybe he can give us some information also. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm um, more than five years involved in this uh, animal protection issue. Uh, I changed that time my life because I saw uh, a situation in my town uh, about how the, the stray dogs are, are uh, handled. And uh, in this moment, I'm the vice president of the National uh, Animal Protection Federation, and I'm the president of an association called Against Abuses that includes animal welfare, but includes democratic issues in, uh, in Romania. Uh, First of all, I will be very short because uh, <clears throat> we are uh, in uh, time uh, quick. First of all, I want uh, uh, to thank two of the, uh, this issue can be solved on national level, as we, uh, our Seremus told you, in political level, uh, but uh, alone in Romania, we never had a solution. Our single hope is the European solution the European uh, citizens that don't want to see in an European land such cruelties and such uh, 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 situation as you saw, and the European Parliament to take action, the European Commission to, to make something. In this, in this considerant, I want to uh, 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 thank from all my heart to two people in, the, in my left. Uh, uh, Mr. Wojcikowski was the first uh, 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 EU uh, uh, um, uh, member who came to Romania, who was on the gate of a, a, a public shelter of the killing station and wasn't let uh, in. It was a, a very, it was a very uh, uh, unbelievable situation for for a, a normal uh, being. It's, it's a town called Slatina where we have a very, a very uh, bad experience. And now I'm here. <coughs> as a guest of uh, Mr. Stefan Eck, uh, who brought in the new uh, um, parliamentary team of Europe uh, uh, such energy and such determination to change uh, this situation in Romania uh, that uh, uh, brings me this time the hope that we uh, can and we should succeed. Uh, I want to thank, you, uh, thank him uh, not in a, um, uh, 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 let's say, in a, uh, diplomatic way just because he invited me, but, but uh, because I strongly believe that what this man in a very short period tried to do in the parliament and my first impression when he came to Romania and participated on the street by a demo uh, showed me that we have now a hope uh, because these people that are here exist and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that they don't uh, let down until they will meet the new president and they will convince the Romanian authorities to change their mind. Uh, now very short <coughs> about the stray dog killing situation. I could told you uh, hours about my own experience because you will see now uh, many people are talking about Romania. 
But uh, I uh, tried from the, the, the level that I, I, I made clean in a, in a uh, public shelter near my home to see what is happening, to, to, to make the proofs, to film with a, a, a hidden camera. <clears throat> I made lobby in the parliament, and I meet many uh, uh, members of the Romanian parliament. We succeed to, to keep this law away, this killing law, many years, until this, un, uh, this, uh, this accident that had nothing to do with stray dogs uh, brought this uh, many, many group of interest was waiting for a moment, then they can uh, uh, bring this law in force. And that, unfortunately, happened last year. Uh, that means uh, we, we, we saw all this trauma on the place, and we have to live there. And nobody uh, can tell you more uh, accurate uh, the, that this situation is, is making a, a big pressure and a big drama for normal people in Romania. Because we have to start with the trauma of the people always. Yes, It's not just a stray dog issue. It's an a, it's a issue about the psychological uh, 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 problems of the, the Romanians that have to see this whole drama on, on their streets. <clears throat> it's not a matter of solving a problem. It, in this moment, it is, uh, I saw the ugliest face of the Romanian society. I saw the lies of the many politicians, and the prime minister, uh, 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 Ponta, was one of them, who promised a lot to the, the animal welfare yeah. uh, in the moment he wanted to be elected. And when he was elected, he uh, uh, turned his back to uh, the whole society. But uh, 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 the, the good thing is that the little revolution from this matter, from this arrogance, uh, turned back uh, in this moment the hope in Romania. If Ponta had won the election, uh, we had to, to fight more and more. It, it was uh, mostly impossible to change something in this, uh, in this uh, level. And now, because we are at the uh, uh, European Parliament, I can tell you I'm disappointed about what the European Commission did until this moment. I had the opportunity to tell them uh, 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 to, uh, <clears throat> at the conference about this situation. They cannot say that they don't know what is happening in Romania. Uh, uh, we was there, it was Mr. Gavinelli, he cut my micro microphone when I told him it's not just about stray dogs because you are always saying that the stray dog issue is not a European level issue. It's about the people, it's about not enforcing the law because the Romanian law, it's not saying that you have to uh, uh, kill the dogs by starvation, starving without food, without medical treatment. The law is saying that you can kill the dog but after 14 uh, uh, days or 21 uh, calendar days, but you have to feed them, you have to treat them, you have to be human with them, and after that kill, what is really happening in Romania, and you will see, and you saw many pictures, is that these dogs are killed in a very, most of them, not all, we cannot uh, 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 say about all, but most of them are killed in a very cruel manner, and the, 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 the money is put on the paper for these all issues, is told what, by a very, uh, uh, very good organized uh, group of people in that are politicians, in that are uh, uh, people who is in the local administration. And so, And that is the huge point of this, because it's a huge business. It's not about solving the situation. It's about uh, having huge budgets that could be very easy stalled, because when the dog is burned, at least, all what remains is a paper that says we fed the dog, we feed the dog, we treat them uh, medically, and <clears throat> And at least we euthanized him with the legal methods, not that we killed them. And all this money, that is huge money, in Bucharest is the biggest business. We talk about millions of euros in one year that the, the general major Oprescu uh, 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 put in this issue to, to kill the dogs. And it's a dramatic situation. And, <clears throat> and that's why you have two realities. The official reality that the uh, European Commission is always answering us in the letters that the, the Romanian uh, authorities is doing their best and they uh, keep the problem in, under control, but and the, the, the reality on the field that is dramatic and all of us are conscient that is, and I hope that we could change that. We uh, have now a fraction that's, that is 
uh, that is supporting. We have an animal welfare group, the Euro group for animals, uh, 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 more and more maps that is supporting and staying uh, to a normal solution to this problem. And that is my hope uh, to, to find a, a, a support and the political will to change this. And in the Romanian field, I'm not a dreamer, I'm getting old and almost tired of all I saw in uh, this period, but uh, I know that uh, behind Mr. Johannes are not so clean politicians that will from tomorrow change the world, but only hope is that Mr. Koma Johannes is an honest uh, a man who will change the way of doing politics in Romania, will change uh, all this misery that we have to see day by day there, and uh, I think we have to give him a chance, we have to, uh, he, to, to speak with him, to su support him, uh, and to hope that uh, together we can change this law. We have a good project that Remus told you. We, can, we have the solution. We only need the political will that can change that. Thank you very much for, uh, for your attention.